and welcome back. Here we are live backstage at Hillsong Conference 2011, and we have JD. <laughs> yes. I'm here. That should be better than last time around. Welcome, JD. It's very good to be hanging out with you guys. It's good to have you with us. Up close and personal, you know. I always see you guys on the screen, and actually to be here with you, it's quite an honour. Uh, likewise. Yeah, wow. Likewise. All right, JD, so how's your week been, man? You've been here at conference, working hard, running back and forth, doing lots of things. What's been going on? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I just love that all my friends have to be walking right backstage. now, keeping me from the back. But anyway, it's been by far the best conference, I think. I know that I really came into this conference like wanting to really kind of be changed by God and His presence, and it's happened for sure. And, you know, um, it's, it's definitely been a big week, and it'll be nice to hopefully, fingers crossed, have a sleep in tomorrow. <laughs> now, we see the footage we see of you is just of these crazy dancing on stages all around the world. Is that what your life looks like? Um, crazy, a series of crazy dances? <laughs> no, that's kind of a, a really small part of my life. It does exist, that part, but I guess, you know, um, I do get an amazing opportunity to travel with the Hillsong United team and I do get very excited, especially in the fast songs and who knows what happens, but yeah, I go crazy. But, you know, um, I guess what consumes the most part of my life is being here in Sydney and building the church and I've got a role of overseeing the Hills Campus Worship Team, which is, you know, one of our campuses at church here in Sydney, for those that don't know. And, um, for people who don't know, how many people say how many people do yeah, I oversee? In the hill, on the hillside, yeah. On the hillside, probably about 400. That's like um, the music team and production and um, TV. Yeah. So what's a day in the life? Well, I guess just get, getting the key team together, having meetings and seeing, you know, what's do, what we're doing that's good and that's working and we try and do more of that and figure out what's not working and stop doing that and kind of really just dreaming, I guess, how we can really make the church environment for... Um, you know, for the, our, the creative people in our team, you know, as best as possible that we can get people involved and also make, I guess, the church experience for people, you know, as best as that can be. Mm. And for you personally, what does family look like? Well, I have a beautiful wife, just one, which is good to know, and an amazing little daughter, just one for the moment. She's 18 months and that is, man, my wife and my daughter, they are... It's the best. It's definitely my favourite thing. So she's 18 months old. Are you getting any sleep yet? Well, y yes and no. My wife's pretty amazing. <laughs> and um, she, so she kind of definitely pulls the weight in the uh, parenting. But I do my best to, you know, to pull my weight. And um, But, yeah, I definitely get less sleep than I did 18 months ago. That goes without saying. Yeah, yeah. How do you find balancing the family thing with the travel that you're doing? Um... It's, it's a work in progress, you know. I guess the way that we, you know, we do do quite a bit of travel, but my family is by far the most important thing, and I never want them to come second to what I do with Church or United. And so I guess we just take it a year at a time. We get our schedule and we sit down and we go, I, you know, this is what they're asking. Are we both okay with it? Because if she's not cool with it, I don't want to do it. And, um, you know, so that's what we do. And every year so far, I've been able to fulfil everything that I've been asked. But, you know, I know that the people that are asking us to go away want us to put our families first as well. So there's quite a culture of, you know, we want to make sure that, you know, our families don't ever kind of burn out as a, as a price of what we do overseas. Yeah. yeah. Now, Vicky mentioned before, we see you on stage, we see footage of you going crazy. But that aside, you're a worship leader. So what does worship leading mean to you? Man, I, the presence of God is... It's just so incredible, and um, and it's such an honour that you know God freely allows us to enter His presence. And I know that um, you know I'm so passionate about worshiping because I just love, I love how incredible the peace and the joy and the comfort that comes with you know the presence of God, and and I love it in a you know um, worship isn't music, but you know we can use music to worship God, and so I'm really passionate about it. I love it, and so having that opportunity, I like I think it's the most incredible honour to be able to be one, you know, to lead other people in worship. And for me, it's just trying to do everything I can to get other people to kind of encounter the presence of God. And so, you know, I, I definitely love it and don't take it for granted at That's all. Awesome. That's awesome. That's very cool. Well, it's great to have you with us. I know you're about to go on stage. Yeah. The final night, Hillsong Conference. Yes. You pumped? Yeah, I'm very excited. It's going to be, it's going to be a big, big ending. So That's great. Right. Well, thanks for being with us, man. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Much Jenny. love to everybody. <laughs> and we'll be right back.